These 11 proven exercises will teach you to play piano with both hands together and they work every time. For exercise one out of 11, put your right thumb on A and your left pinky on A and all your other fingers are just going to line up on the next notes up. For part one of this exercise, we're gonna build the foundation. So simply play up and down together. Now this seems easy, but there's a critical second part we need to do to set us up for all the rest of the exercises. And that's to repeat this in robot mode. So I want you to focus on hitting all these notes exactly together in rhythm like a robot. No sloppy choppy playing. Get this right and the rest of the exercises will be a lot easier. All right, the second control exercise, we're just gonna flip it. So this time, both hands start on one and they play in opposite directions. We call this contrary motion. Now this time I want you to focus on getting every note the exact same volume so it sounds perfectly even. But the third control exercise is really gonna work your finger dexterity. So one big mistake beginners do, and they don't even realize they're doing it, is when you're playing with one finger, your other fingers are kind of all over the place. So it becomes very sloppy. Instead, we wanna play with quiet fingers. Whereas one finger is playing, the other four fingers are gently resting on the keys and they're not all over the place. So for this exercise, we're gonna hold our thumbs down and play the rest of the notes up and down with quiet fingers. You might wanna practice this with hands separate first. Right, for the fourth control exercise, we're gonna take care of a big beginner weakness and that's pinky control. So this time, we're gonna hold down our pinkies and now we're gonna play just up and down the scale with the other fingers. Again, focus on quiet fingers here. All right, now that we've learned the four control exercises, the next four exercises focus on building speed. So for exercise five, we're gonna play these same notes as exercise one. Except this time we're gonna play two notes in our right hand for every one note in our left hand. Sounds like this. Now another big mistake beginners make is they build speed, but they don't build controlled speed. So the key to this is to start slow and gradually speed this up from slow to fast, making sure you can stay in robot mode the entire time. All right, for exercise six, let's work on left hand speed. So this is gonna be the same as the last exercise, except this time you play two notes with your left hand for every one note in your right hand. Sounds like this. All right, now let's ramp up the speed even more. So for exercise seven, you're gonna play four notes in your right hand for every one note in your left hand. You're gonna have to practice this slowly at first and gradually ramp up the speed. All right, exercise eight is gonna be the same, but now we're gonna play four notes in our left hand for every one note in our right hand. All right, now that we've built control and speed, our last three exercises are about building in independence and these ones are important. So you'll notice so far, we've been playing these same notes the entire time. Well, now we're gonna switch things up. So for exercise nine, your right hand is going to play one, three, five, three, one, while your left hand is normal. So it sounds like this. All right, exercise 10 is just gonna be the reverse. So your left hand plays five, three, one, three, five, and your right hand is normal, sounds like this. All right, 
finally, exercise 11 is the most important for playing actual songs on piano. But before that, just to make sure you don't forget any of these, I created a simple cheat sheet that has all these exercises laid out step by step, as well as some bonus tips I didn't talk about in the video. So click the link here or in the description, enter your name and email, and you can download your cheat sheet here. All right, so up until this point, you'll notice we're only playing one note at a time in each hand, but most songs contain chords which have multiple notes at the same time in each hand like this. This video will teach you how to do that using some important beginner rhythm patterns that are absolutely essential to transition these exercises into playing actual songs. They're absolutely critical for adult beginners to just solve all hands coordination issues forever. So click here to watch that now and I'll see you there.